How's it going, everybody? I am Donut, and I am here with my fiance. They're mates. We are watching Better Call Saul, uh, season five, episode two, fifty percent off. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I mean, fifty percent off is going to be his, the clients he's going to be meeting, doing all this fifty percent off stuff. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I, I guess there's nothing else I have to add. Shut off my monitors I mean, over here. Could fifty percent off apply to any of the other plot lines? Um. I can't see how it would relate to Kim. 50% off. I don't know. I can't see yeah. how it would tie into Gus either. There's not, they're not going to do a 50% off deal. That's not how it works. <laughs> That's not how that business works. Well, you know, the meth is bad, so you get it for 50% off. <laughs> no, it is not how it works. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's just get right into this reaction. If you want to see the full length for this reaction, you can go check that out on the Patreon. $8 a month for that and plenty of other shit. Uh, if not, there's no early access, so just wait for the next one. There's no schedule. These are just coming out whenever. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get into it. I don't know why I did my thingy. 50% <laughs> off. Dude, that's almost half. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Great. I feel like none of these people know what a felony is. <sighs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? It's hard to say how any of this is Jimmy's fault. Yeah. None of this is even felonies. <laughs> also, I guess this is multiple days. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just when they get caught. It's fine. It's 50% off. <laughs> They're not even saving any of the money for it. No. I can't believe we both thought, like, hey, we might get a calculated criminal that's like, oh, maybe, you know, if I do a felony and I make this much mm. money, then I can afford it. <laughs> nope. <sighs> Not as clients, Al. Wow. What day is it? <laughs> Tuesday? Tuesday. Well, you know what that means? 50% What? <laughs> they just start the car again. <laughs> How does nobody call the cops on them? <laughs> ah, I see. The face is 50% off. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> face 50% off. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a Gus focus. <laughs> oh my god. If we get the face 50% off, fun. <laughs> oh, that's Nacho. Oh. Are these the cousins? <laughs> that's one of my cousins. <laughs> oh. Why? I switched hmm. the stuff, I believe it all like you told me. Oh. Hmm. They had Nacho doing that. Okay. But do they think Nacho is the one who, uh... Or no, no, is he talking about switching the, the medicine? I was thinking he meant switching the bags. No, I also thought he meant switching the bags. I think he just means I did switch out the medicine like you told me to. Yeah. No. No. Hmm. Please, 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 Find a way. Pop's a nice guy. Motherfucker. <sighs> you really got what's coming to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he was a bit of a dick in Breaking Bad, but this really sold me off. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't deserve to die, but still. <laughs> <laughs> 
you take the five months. Yep. Huh. You were right, as usual. <laughs> Saul Goodman, mm. speedy justice for you. Kim, how about dinner and a movie tonight? I have Scampi and Scorsese, because they got after hours on. He's so clueless. I love that one. <sighs> uh, we'll have to see. I might need to stay late. Yeah. Jimmy, what's what what the... I gotta show you. It's just three blocks from here. What is he doing? Is he trying to get another office for them, maybe? I can't imagine. I hope not. I mean, they don't have the money for it now. No, certainly not. They're both not have. Yeah, they got small time gigs. Yeah, that one right there. Oh, open house. Mm. That's not a. It's uh, an office. That's a house together. Yeah. Jimmy, we're not buying a house. Maybe not today, but it doesn't hurt to look, does it? I got 45 clients. 45? How are you going to handle all that? I got a system, but can we just look? I mean, he's good at that, though. Yeah. That's where he thrives, with a ton of people. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. They want to sell this house. They'll let us in. Why, Kim? <laughs> she has to go to work. I mean, I assume she's got time, but just, like, yeah. why are you... You're giving him mixed signals. Yeah. You, she's got to cut it off. Folks, do you mind signing in? There's a guest book right over here. <sighs> you know what? Um, can we do that on our way out? Mm -hmm. Sure. Does he have a different angle for this? Oh, yeah, certainly. Is his client, one of his clients. He don't want to sign. Then why bring Kim? Maybe it's both. Mm, maybe. 50% off thing I said I wouldn't do. Well, I mm. did it. I uh, told a few potential clients. It just kind of slipped out. And don't worry, I know these people, they're not going to do anything because it's a stupid <laughs> discount. But it was a bonehead move, and I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> bonehead move. <laughs> That's like his classic word for, you know, not ad admitting any guilt. Okay. Mm. I don't want to lie to my clients. You're talking about the fridge guy? That was, that was a dumb idea. I mean all my clients. Of course. Absolutely never again. I mean, I'm glad she's trying to lay it down. Yeah, but Jimmy's just going to bend and bend and bend the rules. This is the closet of your dreams. Our dreams. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he's the one with all the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do you get it going? Maybe the water's shut off. Maybe. <laughs> hey! Uh, quit it. <laughs> You're very mature. Very mature. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> that house is carpeted. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> nice house, huh? Yeah. Maybe someday. They are good together when they're not awful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh... I mean, I have nothing against them living together. Their relationship, like, as a romantic thing, is not good. Yeah. Busy K? It's just a vitamin solution, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't they want him to get better? <laughs> Maybe this is why he got so much worse. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is why he got worse. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 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 I don't even know if the actor likes that. Why <laughs> oh, yeah, he likes it? Oh uh, yeah. What are you doing? Money. Fifty percent off. Ah. Con que siga entrando dinero está protegido. Stop. Stop. 
I've been bringing the money. Hijo, mm. <laughs> tío. Esto es una mierda. <laughs> He says, Christ, hello. Mejor, ¿no? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is good, though. Hey. He's seeing his granddaughter, so hopefully, fixing the yeah, to get him in a better mood. Oh, he has a project to work on. Hey, good. She needs to finish her homework first. Don't let her sweet Aww. talk you. Oh, not a chance of that. The vet forcing these characters to have pets is such an interesting plot choice. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I didn't even think about that. And he was a really good policeman, right? Mm, I take it back. This is not a great time for him. No. Yes. But the bad guys got him. I told you to make those even. I am. No, I... you're not. You're making a mess. Oh, geez. You either do it right or you don't do it. But I want to do it. You're done. You are done. Jesus, uh, Mike. I mean, we, we have seen that in Breaking Bad, though. He does have a real tipping point where yeah. he just loses it. Oh, like, I don't blame him. Like, yeah, his head was, no, not in the right space. Like, now he's just the bad man, you know? Yeah. What makes him different from the guys who mm. killed his son? I wonder if that's enough to be charged for, like... Oh. Oh. It was too much, it got stuck. Mm. Let me see what you have. Oh. It's gonna be, like, the best hand of the game. You got a set? Uh. Oh. You had three eights on the turn and you don't risk. And then you fold at the river? Mm. Too bad. Look at Pussy. What's your local, this guy, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Crazy Eights. That actually sounds way better in Spanish. Yeah. I wonder if there is going to be, like, a big turn in the way. Like, I can see it. I thought there was going to be a big thing just because his name is Crazy Eight, but apparently not, because he didn't act that crazy. No. It's just an ironic name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> sweet baby boy. Some kind of block. It's because he's gonna touch it and it's oh, gonna. No. Oh no! Oh no! Guess you fixed it. Jesus. Ah, <sighs> block. <laughs> Crazy Eight's had the rough, like not the <laughs> roughest, but he's had a pretty rough run in life. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God, he's gonna fucking go in there. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. I mean, if he pulls this off, he's gonna, like, he's gonna earn that respect in Lalo's eyes. Yeah. But how the hell? Oh my god. Jesus. <gasps> he's ruining his, he's risking his, I mean, I, you know, I was gonna say, you know, he's risking ruining his life, but it's better than his father dying. Yeah. Like, this is a once in a lifetime move. Oh my god, he's gonna no, jump no, her. No, 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 this is some no, superhero no, shit. I also love his laws reactions to this. It's just us reacting to Lalo reacting to Nacho. <laughs> There's got to be, like, a Lalo commentary track for this episode. <laughs> Not as actor, just a Lalo commentary track. <laughs> like, we don't know what happens to Nacho. Maybe he's just in jail. Yeah. This is a shitty ass squad team, by the way. <laughs> this is so bad. They're not watching any of the exits. <laughs> and how did none of them see him up on the roof? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, from what we've seen in Breaking Bad with the time Jesse got away, these squad teams are just terrible. Yeah. 
Albuquerque police is awful. <laughs> Ignacio Varga. Eres un chingón. Yeah. Whew. Ballsy move. But you got that respect now. Mm -hmm. I really hope Nacho can be the one to kill Lalo. Oh, that'd be so cool. See the look on his face. <laughs> Bill. Bill. <laughs> what? <laughs> my untended camera again? <laughs> no, but by the way, you look great. We've got to talk, Bruno. Leader. Leader? Lost cause. Eh, big to differ. He assaulted a minor. That oaf? You call him a minor? I call him a menace. Hey, my featherweight was simply defending himself against your raging bull. No sale. Leader's doing the full freight. Welcome back to the law, McGill. It's good, man. And you'll be back. Hannah Banana. Hi. Hey, what's the word on Working moving the trip to Thursday? Mm, it works on the calendar. I just have to check with the yeah, other Yeah, consider him checked. Veronica. <laughs> hey, Go you got something for me? Muchas gracias. All right, let's see. Long sleeves covering the tats. That's excellent. And pull your hair back and lose the hardware. For honor doth protest a chin pillar. But it's gonna close up. Into every life a little rain must fall. Meet me outside courtroom 103 at 215. Mitch, uh, what say you to move in trip to Thursday? <sighs> Thursday works. Great. This is so cool. Thursday. I love this. The, the, the what did you do? Instrumental oh, track is do? perfect. Suddenly for this. leader has witnesses? <laughs> like it's so oh, low key, but say? it's perfect. Yeah. From the sewer? Life's rich pageant, who are we to judge? Anyways, they saw what they saw. Your beefy, if youthful hooligan, cold cocks my small potato. So what do you say? Uh, sentence suspended, six months probation, 70 hours community service? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> that is the spirit he's looking for, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and wow. God. That was She's amazing. Not, yeah. Something. Jimmy. Oh, I nice mean, framing. Hey. Why is he here? You're yeah. back in the saddle. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna be one of our best years ever. I was wondering, any chance you're available for lunch sometime? Lunch? Lunch? Really? Yeah, oh, you have Julie call my people. I'm in the book. See ya, Howard. <laughs> uh. Suzanne, I think we have a few things in common. Oh, I hope not. Oh, we <laughs> to the tune of 16 cases, so you're busy, I'm busy. How about we do a lightning round? We'll settle these puppies. 20 minutes. Don't you already have an appointment with me on the books? Yeah, next Tuesday. But, you know, let's get it done right now. How about we wait till next Tuesday? Oh. My clients need mm. answers. But yet, yeah, she's on to him, too. Yeah. Like, not him specifically, but she's the bad person to be getting involved with. If mm -hmm. she figures out that Huel shit... I love the scenes of them. It's so quiet. Crazy eight. <laughs> you gave him that name. Only thing know him is that now. <laughs> and he said it with the K. <laughs> oh, it's been like two. No, it's been like a day, and he's so quickly forgotten his real name. <laughs> I don't know. You worried about him? so badly in right now. No, I mean, he'll keep his mouth I mean, I'm Mexican so long. <laughs> mm. Mm. Big doubts. <laughs> I don't know. I think he'll trust Nacho. I think mean, we know he doesn't get killed in prison, so. Right. It's... I mean, he does keep his mouth shut. <laughs> no, he always chews like he's me to care making a yikes expression. <laughs> no. I got something much better for him. Come on. Oh, oh my, my god. god, Jimmy! <laughs> Salt! Hey! Hello! She's so calm. I feel like she's Hi, catching on. Who did he get to do this? How? Guarantee whoever picked up that phone is also working for him. Ah. Uh. That's a double con. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, I ask you. 
Motor vehicle theft? With mitigating circumstances. Such as? It was her aunt's minivan. That's already baked in. It was parked in the driveway. The old lady was berating her, so. So what? So, you know, good luck finding a jury that's never been reamed out by a relative. Like, he is protecting people that need it. Mm -hmm. He's getting the stupid-ass cases. Yeah. I mean, he gets plenty of the other ones, but, like... Mm -hmm. He is a lawyer for the people. How about 18 Took her shoes off. I feel like she completely understands. Tanika Bird. I don't know. Uh, I feel like she's going to start um, to understand after this. Four months jail? 14 months jail. <laughs> 16. Mm, 16. Plus Ugh. fines TBD. Plus fines TBD. <laughs> The problem with doing a batch like that is that, like, he's definitely going to be trading, like, across cases. Yeah. So some people are going to get screwed. I mean, yeah, but he's probably trading it on the people who, you know, have done an actual deserving crime. Right. It's... Stuart looks like they just had sex in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Good talking to you. I got to jump. So yeah, good so he's getting involved in Nacho after all this time. I was going to say, like, why? Why would mine really good not nacho? Jousting, but we're just going for just a ride. Or, uh... <laughs> no ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> he just lost <laughs> <walks in. laughs> uh, <sighs> Interesting visual. I don't know if it's supposed to represent anything. Okay. Wow. Whew. Good episode. Very worried for Jimmy. Very, very worried for Jimmy now. Yeah. What do you think Nacho wants him for? I mean, I think it's gotta be Crazy 8, right? Oh, right. But, like... Okay, okay. So, is he working behind uh, Lalo's back? Because Lalo said that he had something for him. Mm -hmm. Not getting killed. Right. right? Was that the exact phrase? Not, not, he didn't use the phrasing, not killed. But I'm saying, he used some sort of phrasing. I'm going to go back to it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So he says, mm. Nacho says, do you want to take care of him? And mm. Lalo says, I've got something much better for him. Mm -hmm. So, what is that? <laughs> and, like, because Lalo shouldn't know about... Maybe he does. About... The, the you know, uh, Saul Goodman and everything like that. Like, mm -hmm. but there's no reason why he shouldn't. Like, just as a person in the world. Right. It's... Like, he could just be like, hey, I Possible. found this dude who has a 50% off for felonies thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, legitimately, what if it is just that? It's possible. Uh, oh, because the two guys uh, that yeah. were trying to get their, their stuff, what do they keep calling them? The skeles. Uh, the skeles. Skeles. Yeah. Um, I've never heard that word before. You ever heard it before? Nope. Yeah, I've, I've never heard it before. I've never used it in Breaking Bad either. They haven't. No, I don't know what it means. But... I used it like twice last episode. I mean, I get I, I get an idea of what it means. It's not just meth head. It's specifically <laughs> like the 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 customers. I mean, I, I could see it just being meth head because, you know, they look like skeletons. Um, oh, maybe. I was thinking they were specifically talking about the the customers, though. Okay. Like, you know, plenty of the people who are, they're, they're doing uh, the meth, even if they're selling it. Right. But I thought they were specifically talking about the, you know, uh, because they were saying, oh, skeletons complain all the time and everything okay. like that. Like, I assume they were like, oh, yeah, the, the pieces of shit that we don't give a shit about. Mm. The, the lowest of the low. The customers. <laughs> 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 but, uh, so, yeah, maybe Lalo just, uh, because of them, they had the 50% the off thing and... They're, they're contacting him that way. Very possible. Other possibility is that he's got something else planned. I don't know what it would be. Um, maybe Tuco. Like, maybe. oh, well, Tuco will just have his back in prison. Yeah. Like, yeah, they would probably be sent to the same prisons. Mm -hmm. um, for, well, actually, it's not similar crimes, but similar mm -hmm. levels of crimes, I would say. Yeah. It, it's not too different to where one would be in jail and one would be in prison. I would assume they would both be in prison. Mm -hmm. And they would be in whatever prison is closest, assumingly. Right. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> going to be the Albuquerque prison. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. We know Crazy Eight did... I don't think we know how much time he did specifically. You know? Okay, but they did say he did do time in prison? Yeah, because he got out like pretty close at like to when Breaking Bad started. Uh, okay. 
Uh, right, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he had just gotten out. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I, I, yeah, I forgot that Crazy Ed was not Jesse's partner. That that right. was uh, Crazy Ed's brother? Was it his cousin? I think it was his cousin. His cousin? Uh, but yeah, I forgot that, yeah, so mm. Crazy Ed had just gotten out. So that's what... I mean, he wasn't crazy eight because of what happened in prison, but... <laughs> what happened one day before he went to prison. That is why when he got out of prison, he looked way more tough, at yeah. least. Like, he does look a lot tougher in uh, Breaking mm-hmm. Bad, and that's so... He went to prison for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for understandable reasons here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and still, not as bad as it could have been. Like, if they had found, like, all the stuff yeah. there. Oh, yeah, it could have been way worse. But then again... I imagine he went away for quite a while because it was 10 baggies. Yeah. Like, that's a lot. That's bas- They probably got him for uh, intention to distribute. True. Yeah. Because why else would you have 10 baggies? Exactly. That's uh, so much. And it's in baggies. Yeah. It's ready to be. Yeah. It's like, mm. it's not all in one thing. Yeah. Like, because he can't, like, pawn it off on anyone. Yeah. So he would have to just say, like... It's either mine. either it's mine or I don't know how it got here. But no, he couldn't even say that because then that could implicate like, oh, I get maybe there's something else happening here. He would want to stop it right at the source and say it was me. Like yeah. he'd want to take the fall. He would do that too because mm-hmm. he don't want to get killed. Yeah, <laughs> and we do know like you know he he flips for the DEA. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, when? Like in prison? Like I believe crazy like crazy eight was the informant they had in Breaking Bad. Uh, the informant for what? I, I don't even remember what you're talking about. Like, in the first few episodes, they mentioned that they had an informant. Uh, so he... I'm pretty sure. He turned his brother in? <laughs> like, he flipped on his brother? Yeah, he did. Or, it was also his cousin. Yeah, so he did snitch on his own cousin. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> He was in prison for, like, so long, and then he eventually <laughs> snitched on his cousin. Which, I mean, I can understand it, because he's such a soft boy. But he was in there for so long! <laughs> like, I'm imagining, even if he was in there for that long, and he had protection, I, I still see it. Like, he's a soft boy. He well, I guess as soon as Tuco got out is when it, he was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Right. Because <laughs> Tuco would have been way out of prison by that time. Because mm-hmm. he was only in there for a couple months, right? Well, no, uh, he got it. He got uh, extended. Yeah. Uh, right. But did Tuco get out before Crazy Eight? Um. Yeah, he would have to. But yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, we don't know that, but I just assume he would have to, just by nature of how the story is. Yeah. Like he would have to reset up all that stuff, mm-hmm. and you know, he has to. It like if Lalo is taken out here, then that's all the Salamanca's gone essentially. Right. So he would have to be. Um, mm-hmm. Out before Lalo is killed, I believe. That's mm-hmm. my guess, anyway. That would make sense. Because we also know, like, Skinny Pete said that he, you know, he was uh, selling with Tuco for a bit back then. Yeah. Also, man, Gus just really didn't have to worry about Tuco at all. Nope. <laughs> Tuco is so not a problem ever for him. <laughs> at any point. Nope. <laughs> That's amazing. Because... Yeah, Juco, if he was around during all this shit that's going on, mm-hmm. Gus would probably be in prison, a lot of the Salamanca's probably be in prison. <laughs> I feel like with as much stuff as going on now, mm-hmm. he would get them found yeah. out. When it was as simple as it was before, right. maybe, but now it's no. <laughs> this modern age, he cannot handle it. Nope. He's, he just still operates like it's Mexico. Yeah. Okay. What else uh, was going on this episode besides the mm-hmm. the Jimmy thing? But yeah, so I guess I'm not that worried on Jimmy's life then. Mm-hmm. It seems like it's going to be okay. Um, the whole elevator scene, I can't... So, mm-hmm. uh, did he... Did she call that maintenance guy? I think so. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know how elevators work. I would assume they would call the building. But then they would probably just call the maintenance guy and he would just do it anyway. Right. It's... Like, purposely not do it. But uh, yeah. yeah, still... Genius tactic. I love getting to see this stuff from Saul. Whether it's good or bad, it is just mm. a genius tactic. It is. And I, I do like how unflapped she was, like, at the very start. Yeah. Oh, and, like, like they set it up at the very beginning of the scene. I was curious about if it was going to play in at all. Uh, they have, well, anyway, they have, yeah, red tape up and everything like that from oh. the other elevator. Oh, I didn't catch that at all. 
Yeah, like, they just have it all sectioned off, and he's working on it right now. Right. It's... Like, you can see him over there in the corner. <laughs> but, ah, uh, that was... I, I, re- I called on that, but I didn't say anything, because I wasn't sure mm. what was going to happen. I, I, yeah. I thought he was forcing her into the elevator, and he was just going to already be in there, and just try and, like, mm-hmm. strong-arm her, and like, we're already in the elevator, you can't do anything, let's just talk about it. Right, it's... Uh, but, yeah, this is... <laughs> And everything before, uh, the like, the scene where he was going around mm-hmm. to everybody trying to move around the yeah. dates right before she left the, the courtroom. <laughs> he he is, like, the best under the high stress situation. Oh, yeah. Like, Walt, honestly, I don't, like, he did fine under high stress mm-hmm. situations, but it's not like Walt was better under high stress situations. Right. It's... Those honestly kind of would make him have lapses in judgment and mm-hmm. stuff like that, where Saul does seem to be... Always better under stress. I'd say under stress, and specifically a situation like this, where it's a lot of different points of stress. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not one singular problem that's really bogging him down. It's something where he can, like, just jump around. I think, yeah, I think that's a good point. He does the best when he has a lot going on in general. Mm -hmm. Uh, His failings with Kim is when really the only thing he has going for him is Kim. Like, he has nothing Mm -hmm. else going. Or, like, whenever he has another job, and that's the only job he has that's, you know. He just doesn't, like, (laughs) boredom. Boredom is what he hates the most, and... Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so just having this amount, having, how many clients did he say he had? Like 40 something? Yeah, 45. Like, yeah, this is his <laughs> ideal life. I bet you could track it into Breaking Bad as well. Because, like, early on Breaking Bad, when we first meet him, like, he always has people in his, uh, like, waiting room. Oh, yeah. He's always dealing with stuff. Whereas near the end, it was basically just Walt. Yeah. And it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> Walt was pretty much his only client at the end. Mm-hmm. Ah. All right, what else uh, went down? Oh, yeah, um, uh, Howard. I guess we'll see that next episode. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, by the way, have we seen her before? She looks very familiar, uh, the, the the goth girl. I don't recognize her at all. I feel like we have definitely, like, maybe we saw her last episode. Yeah, maybe at the fairgrounds. Um, but and maybe I just recognize her actor or something, mm-hmm. but she looks very familiar. Okay. Um, again, I don't know where else she would have been if she was in... War, Breaking Bad at El Camino or something like that but yeah I don't recognize her from like a previous series or anything but I'd like if she was at the fairgrounds I'd believe that's yeah she might have just been there it might be where I recognize her. again it might just be her actor or something hmm. but uh, uh yeah Howard uh, we're gonna get him next episode I assume hmm. it's gotta be next well uh, it depends on how long Jimmy is with Nacho <laughs> right it's um but yeah uh he also did he say Jan he said uh I just realized he said something to Howard about uh, have Julie call my people. Oh, have, yeah, have call Julie call my, my people. Yeah. Who's his people? I mean, him? I mean, we saw in season one, his people was him. <laughs> yeah, I know, but he kind of stopped doing that. Is he doing that again? <laughs> Is his people him again? Honestly, maybe. <laughs> like, why would he be lying to Howard? I mean, maybe he's just trying to put up a front for her. Ah. Uh-huh. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, did he get Francesca back? Because they don't have There's an office. Yeah, they don't have an office. There's no so, way. like, Yeah. But, like, it would make sense if he did, just with how much he's got going on. But, you know, we haven't seen anything like that. This is no. just... But, no, that's yeah, not what's going on. I'm pretty convinced he's doing it for her. Yeah. That makes because, sense. because also, Howard's the kind of guy who wouldn't raise a fuss in the moment. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. He would just be like, yeah, it's Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think Howard... Like, do you think Howard has any alter- ulterior motives, or do you think he just wants to chat with Jimmy? I legitimately think he might... Ask him to join HHM. Like, I, I assume so. Like, pro- maybe not in a partner position, but I think he will say, like, you know, your brother's not there. I always wanted you to be part of the firm. Like, w- do you want to be a junior partner or something? And he he hates a lot of parts of Jimmy, mm-hmm. but uh, I think, especially with Jimmy, the words that Jimmy gave him, and now seeing that the firm is better than it's ever been, mm-hmm. like, I think he's like, oh, Jimmy was fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> he told me like it was, and <laughs> I made the firm better. Plus, from Howard's perspective, there's no reason why Jimmy wouldn't say yes to this. If he does say, like, hey, do you want to join? Yeah. Ah. Uh, like, I mean, he knows Jimmy's personality. Mm-hmm. He knows that, I feel like he shouldn't, he should feel like Jimmy's probably going to 50% say yes because he should logically say yes. And 50% right. say no just because it's Jimmy. And I don't, mm-hmm. I can't think of a reason, but he <laughs> might just say no. <laughs> Yeah, plus, like, Howard is a mediator, so I do think he might just be doing it in part, like, even if he 100% knows he's not going to say yes, he would definitely still have a dinner with Jimmy just to give him the offer. Oh, yeah. Like, 
he would he would consider it to be disrespectful otherwise. And Howard, I've always felt like has a little bit of that. He <laughs> wants to go a little bit off book. He he he's like Kim. I mean, I think a lot everybody's like that. Everybody has in them a little mm-hmm. bit of that. They want to be the bad boy, you yeah. know. But I don't think Howard would ever be able to do that. But I think him bringing Jimmy on the team might be him like. You know, wanting to be a little like I, I always remember the the thing where uh, Chuck made him like come over through all the fences and everything like that, and he yeah. he looked like he was having a blast. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I I wonder if yeah. And, and the billboard thing, like I wonder if he was so mad because it was like a. <laughs> I wish I could have thought of something like that. <laughs> you know, I think he realized like the way Jimmy works works, and that's just how the world works. And so yeah, if he's not gonna get caught, <laughs> let's have him on board. <laughs> I think it's like a fucking rabbit's foot or something. We keep him out of trouble. Yeah, but like apart from that, I think it might like if it's not bringing him onto HHM, it might just be something like if you need a loan or if you need office space or something. Yeah, like I would not be surprised if he helps Jimmy get his you know the Saul Goodman office. That's true. Because right now, like, Jimmy's doing okay, but he doesn't have like a lot. Again, of... the the Saul mm-hmm. Goodman office is like the corner store. It's yeah. a corner store. True. That's why I really thought uh, that we were doing something with that air, that old job he had. I thought that was going to be more than just the cell phone thing. Okay. I thought that was going to be the area where his mm. uh, building was, but it mm-hmm. uh, didn't turn out to be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's got a shitty little corner office, terrible place. I keep saying corner not corner office, corner store. It's yeah. a, It was a store that I mean, he turned into a lawyer place. Yeah. Like, the space is pretty big. Yeah. For one person. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's smaller than a dentist's office. <laughs> True. Like, I guess for a lawyer, it's not that big. It's the size of a small department store. <laughs> small department store. I mean, or it's like a, like a shoe store, I mean, sorry. Mm-hmm. Not like a department store, but like, yeah, like a just shoe store and like an outlet yeah. is about what it is. <laughs> I mean, for one practicing lawyer, that's not too bad. I guess, yeah, I guess not. I guess, yeah, I'm thinking of like a firm, but yeah, he is just one lawyer. Yeah, he's just one dude. Um, was there anything else you wanted to say about that? I'm glad that we're getting more of Bald Man. Uh, name I can never <laughs> yeah, remember. I don't remember his name either. But yeah, I love him. I love Which, his personality. Uh, you were just saying everyone has a little bit of that Jimmy in him. I think he doesn't. No, he's got <laughs> absolutely no Jimmy. He either. just wants to eat his chips and do his job. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't even really want to do his job. True. He just wants to eat the chips. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, I don't even know if he really wants to eat the chips. He doesn't really like it. He doesn't it. really seem to like existing. <laughs> he seems to just be exhausted with existing. <laughs> he is the personification of a big mood. <laughs> because you say all he wants to do is eat the chips, but last time, I remember, he just gave Jimmy his chips, right? Or was that the other way around? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I know actually don't remember. The last time he definitely didn't give up his chips. Not not the last episode, but I mean like uh, before when him and Jimmy were sitting next to each other. Mm. I can't remember if it was Jimmy who gave him the chips or him who gave Jimmy the chips. Oh, but the right. most important <laughs> plot point at all of Better Call Saul: <laughs> who gave who the chips? Uh. Yeah, Nacho's badass moment. Oh my god. That only works because the Albuquerque police are retarded. <laughs> so bad. To be fair, they're not a SWAT team or anything. That is just the police. I mean, they were a SWAT team. We, should, we saw the SWAT team pull up. Did we? Yeah, I thought that, that was, was DA. Uh, I mean, uh, they had a... Oh, uh, what is it called? Battering a breach. Ram. Yeah, battering ram. <laughs> Do the D, does the DA just have a battering ram? I think so. Maybe then. Like, they didn't have riot shields, which is why I usually associate with it's the SWAT team. I mean, I don't know if all SWAT people have riot shields. It's not, I associate that with riots. <laughs> I wouldn't know why they would bring a riot shield here. <laughs> uh, they have, you know, they have bulletproof stuff on. I mean, normal police departments have that as well. They have, like, a vest on. They don't have full bulletproof stuff on. We're post 9-11. <laughs> I don't think police fan have one, you know, <laughs> bulletproof pants. Well, I mean, this is the DEA. Yeah. Okay. DEA is all bulletproofed out. So they got bulletproof pants. Oh, yeah. They got bulletproof butts. <laughs> uh, Hank used but... to wear a bulletproof vest. I know, a vest! <laughs> yeah, it was really big. Because he's a very big man. Uh, okay, that aside, there's <laughs> still... It's just because they're police, you can't excuse them for not looking up. <laughs> <laughs> This is not this is unacceptable. So many wires everywhere. Get rid of these wires. <laughs> so many. I mean, 
I can buy it. Like, anytime I watch fiction, I see someone not look up. I do think, well, I probably wouldn't look up. <laughs> Why would I look up? I mean, to be fair, it's, it's all like really... not just screaming when he jumps. <laughs> no, but it's super... I mean, he's on top of the building that they're all going towards. How do yeah. you not... You don't have to look up. How do you just not see him? I mean, <laughs> they're going towards it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I do think anyway. it, like it's very ballsy because he didn't have cover or anything. Like he was just out in the open. Like okay, this police man in front of a car here. How does he not see up the roof of the building there? He's looking this way. He's looking at the car. Why? <laughs> is he just staring at the light of the police car? <laughs> or like at most, he might be looking up at the other police that are all like clustered around one door. <laughs> he's not gonna be looking all the way off to the right, which is where Nacho is jumping. Well, then he's a bad police officer because they, what do they think? They're all coming in one entrance. What do they think the people are gonna do? Well, it's not like they just leave. That would be rude. They need to be arrested. <laughs> Uh, it was a badass moment, though. Yeah. It was a badass moment. I loved getting Lalo's reactions. <laughs> Lalo's reactions are amazing. I would lo- I would pay for just Lalo's reactions to be- Breaking Bad. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> like, when we had the Gus scene earlier, I was, like, I was stunned because I was thinking, like, how do you get Lalo to trust you? Lalo is the, like, yeah. he's the most untrusting person on the planet. <laughs> Absolutely. And and he still doesn't trust him. Yeah. He still is, he's, he's willing to trust him now. We've gotten to the point where now Lalo is willing to trust him. Mm-hmm. Still a, a long road to go. Yeah. We also got uh, Mike, a little bit of Mike this episode. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got a lot of Mike, but like, it was very not plot focused. It was right. very just focusing on his mental state right now. Yeah, it was more of a cool down from all the stuff that's happened with Mike. Yeah, and like oh, the like the Werner getting him having to kill Werner mm-hmm. and his his son getting killed. Two very different scenarios and how it happened and yeah. the people involved and all that. But specifically Kaylee like saying like, you know, Oh, yeah, he was a policeman, and he was a great man, but the bad guys got him in the end. Yeah. And it's like, uh, Mike's thinking to Werner, it's like, you can't even say that about Werner. It's like, not even like yeah. Werner got wrapped up and the bad guys got to him or, or, or anything. It's mm-hmm. just, no, he was a great guy, and he, you know, didn't really understand the circumstances, didn't really understand the consequences, mm-hmm. and it had to be put down. Yeah, and we know from last season with the whole uh, plot with the uh, the lady who lost her husband's yeah. thing that like Mike gets really disturbed when he thinks of people who you know who don't get to know what happens to their missing yeah. relatives. It's like you know I I really got that last episode where we we talked about Verna's wife and she has no idea what happens. I didn't even think about that with Kaylee. Oh my yeah, God. Like, yeah. That I mean that gets me as well. The, the not, not knowing what happens is like the the most is worse yeah than knowing they're dead it's so much worse and like it felt a little weird at first that you know Kayla was just bringing this up out of the blue but at the same time I mean it's her dad I mean they were talking about football and eagles and it makes yeah. sense that then she was going to talk about it. like I don't think it felt that weird it felt like a very logical connection yeah them all. uh I think it was just that like you know they very rarely are alone together, mm-hmm. and her mother's probably talked plenty about him, but he's probably never really talked about him, and so right. she never really thought to really say anything until now, mm-hmm. and she doesn't really understand. Like, yeah. She doesn't have any memories of him. She doesn't know it. She's too young to really get how hard that's going to hit him, even if it wasn't for everything else going on. Right. I mean, Mike's also just the nicest person in the world to her most of the time. Yeah. So she wouldn't think that you know it would set her set him off, or that he could be set off. I'm not even talking about that, but just, like, thinking that she's upsetting him in any way. Right. It's... Like, uh, yeah. Especially with, like, how, you know, her mom acts. I'm sure if her mom is sad, she's going to cry mm-hmm. or something. Whereas if Mike feels... He, he, she thinks of him as, like, a Superman. Yeah. You know, he just has, like, no emotions other than just being her cool <laughs> pop-up. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But, yeah, that was rough to have to see. Mm-hmm. But yeah, also, I, he's been drinking pretty hard. Mm-hmm. Like, not just, like, seeing all the beer, I didn't say anything. But when he got up to answer the phone, you could hear the beer cans on the ground rattling. Mm. Yeah, a nice contrast with uh, Hector doing all that drinking. 
<laughs> Jeez, Hector, you drunk. What's wrong with you? I am certain now that Hector was probably going to be fine. I assume it has to be his whole family giving him hard liquor all the time <laughs> that kept him like that. <laughs> he needs that vitamin medication. He needs it. And I honestly, I can't tell if he liked it or not. I can't tell if he liked it or if he was just trying to be a badass in front of Lalo. Like, it looked like his eyes were watering so much. You're just like, oh, I love it, Lalo. <laughs> like, I don't think he's afraid of Lalo or anything. Right. I think he's just like, you know, I got to look like a badass in front of my... Uh, what relation does he have to Hector? Uh, I think he's a nephew. I don't know uh, through in which way, but... I don't know. He, he calls him uncle, so... Yeah. <laughs> One of the young ones. Yeah, that's all Hector cares about. They're younger than him. That's all he cares about. Yeah. <laughs> They're related. <laughs> They're related by blood. That's all that matters. <laughs> but... Oh, boy. <laughs> Hector's uh, face. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole cold open, by the way, was amazing with the, the two people just doing the 50% off thing. Yeah. Like, it just kept going on for so long. <laughs> it kept... Screaming. It didn't really tie into anything. I thought it was going to be a plot for the episode, I but... Mean, I think it's going to tie in maybe next episode. Yeah, I mean, I guess it like, did tie into the... I, I forget. Yeah, yeah, the whole drain thing. Yeah. yeah. yeah but, but, like, it wasn't as big of... Like, you know... Mm -hmm. I guess, again, they are... They, they're getting... Like, they are maybe connecting to Jimmy yeah. with the 50% off thing, but just in, through a different person. Right. <laughs> It's strange, but uh, it is, it is, yeah, mm -hmm. it is all connected thoroughly. Yeah, like, Better Call Saul is very okay with the idea of it being like, you know, it's a full season. You look at the full season. Yeah. So, like, I was recently rewatching like, one or two episodes, and boy, it is the most cinematic television. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, any scene, especially, like, as Better Call Saul goes on, like... They just give every scene so much time to breathe. Yeah, I absolutely. I Walking Dead is the only other show I've seen come close to it, and it's very hit or miss. Mm -hmm. But like, it is also that like, I feel like they give plenty of time for things to breathe, and it doesn't. I never feel like it's padding. Right. The same with Better Call Saul. It never feels like padding. Mm -hmm. It always feels purposeful. Whereas there's plenty of other shows where I'm like, boy, <laughs> this feels like padding. Like, they're doing nothing interesting with the camera. They're doing nothing interesting with the person on screen or anything. Right. It's just a held shot because we needed time. Yeah. But, yeah, like, it is. Every shot in Peter Call Saul is so perfectly, intricately placed and, and mm -hmm. planned out. Yeah, or just like. Uh, we already talked about the whole scene in the uh, the courtroom, or not the courtroom, the... Uh, the, the hallway of the yeah, courtroom. the hallway thing. The camera movement in that was so smooth. Yeah. And and again, like, the, the music choice in Better Call Saul is perfect. There's no, like, song that immediately comes to mind, but whenever they do a montage, whoever is picking the music is doing a perfect job at picking something that matches the scene perfectly, but isn't, like, you know... It's not something where I think normally somebody would be like, oh, man, that's a great song. Right, like, I, this scene, I'm like, oh, man, this is a really good song. <laughs> it's just a perfect song for the scene. Yeah. I know Breaking Bad had, like, a lot of music that was crafted for the shot as opposed to getting, like, making the song first. Yeah. So, that might be one of those. Yeah. It felt like it. It felt so clear without it feeling music video-y. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like every single beat is a thing. Yeah. Not like the, you know... Uh, Jimmy in the suit, speaking of all the suits. Yeah. Not like the whole suit <laughs> montage or anything. Uh, or, or some of the other ones. Yeah, like, there is a very different style there where they do their montages, mm -hmm. uh, where it's very, like, I would say the ones where it's sped up and a time lapse sort of montage. Right. Do it more music video y, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. More like a lot of cuts and everything. Uh, and then they have the ones that sort of play out in real time. Yeah. Uh, that are. A little bit more. It's like, I think that's the key. It's like having the song be just a little bit more upbeat so it feels like everything's happening fast. Right. It's... Even when it's really not. Uh, but yeah, the whole Kim and Jimmy in the house thing. We spent so long in the house. What do you think about I don't know what to think about that. Uh, like, like, the very obvious intent, you know, clear motive is... He wanted to, you know, just do something with Kim. He wanted to break the news of, by the way, I did the 50% off thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like in that shot when uh, he was standing in the uh, the shower, he was definitely baiting Kim to turn on the water. Oh, yeah. 
he he wanted her to play along. Yeah. And, yeah. Cut the tension. But it is good that he's not lying anymore. Mm -hmm. He's not lying anymore. She's trying to lay down some ground rules and everything. Yeah. If he can stick to the ground rules, if he can stick to not lying, if she can stick to if he gets worse, she has to leave. Yeah. You know, it can't just all be on Jimmy either. She has to have some... (sighs) She has to do something here, too. It's hard to, you know, forgive her if she's just going to keep going into it over and over and over and over again. That's the big one. And she never admitted that, you know, she went along with Jimmy's plan. Or that, you know, it dovetailed into her, you know, into them accepting her deal. Yeah. Which, like, I think it's because she wants to be able to take the high road on this. And she doesn't want to have to admit that, you know, it did work. Yeah, and I mean, you know... Big brain theory, but I do think that that Kim is Kim enjoys being in a relationship with someone that she can look down on. Mm. I think she, I think just okay. Jimmy gives her a big confidence boost in general in some ways, mm-hmm. or uh, more. I mean, it's I think it's just more closely related to like the she likes to roll around in the mud, but she doesn't want to be a mud person, right? It's uh, she she likes her relationship with Jimmy because she can roll around in the mud, but she don't have to be that guy. Yeah, at the end of the day, she can say, you know, that was bad. Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I can't imagine what else we're going to do in there. Like, I don't know. I, I was thinking but, maybe another heist, like, in season one, sort of, like, when he sent Mike in. Yeah. But it's also an empty house. Yeah, I don't... I, I think it was, again, just a, like, you know... We know we're not here to buy the house. Let's just do some fun stuff. Like, right. he was like, come on, Kim, make me wet in this house. It's not ours. <laughs> like, do something that's bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, 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 don't know, I just think about that every time she makes those faces of, like, extreme disapproval. And she's just like, all right, Jimmy, let's just go. <laughs> like, she's, she, she shows such extreme disapproval and just goes right along with it. Yeah. I feel like she has to just like that in some way, subconsciously at least. Mm. Uh, anything else you have to say about this episode? I'm not really sure if I have anything else to mention. Uh, I'd say, like, the main theme of the episode was trust. Like, with Nacho needing to get uh, Lalo's trust. Yeah. Where with, uh, I mean, hmm. I guess with Mike, it would just be, like, maybe losing some of that trust with Kaylee. Like, I that guess so, a bit yeah. of a str- That's a bit of a stretch. I don't know if you... Well, maybe, because she doesn't talk to him and everything like that. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just dealing with his lack of trust in Gus, maybe. Hmm. See that? Because, like, I was about to say, this might be the first time he's ever done something, you know, really not great with Kaylee. And that is true, probably true chronologically. But I keep on thinking about the very end of Breaking Bad, where he does abandon her... Yeah. And it is for her, you know, for her good to save the money. But at the same time, like, to think that he didn't go back and, like, at least tell her, you know. I do know that that was a big thing that, uh, uh, what is his actor's uh, name? I can't remember. If his actor, I know his actor really didn't like that scene, actually. Oh, okay. He was very against it. He kept trying to, uh, like, fight them on it and wanted it to be different and it was just like, I cannot imagine, like, doing that. Right. And But eventually they, they convinced him on it and mm-hmm. they were like, but he's doing it for her greater good. And, yeah. You know, but he did uh, fight them very heavily on that scene. It was, like, mm-hmm. the only scene he ever, like, really fought them on. Yeah, and there hasn't been a lot in Better Call Saul that's really, like, justified that to me. Yeah. But maybe this is kind of the start of it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have always thought of it as, like, he... You know, he knew it would crush her in the moment, but mm-hmm. overall, it would still make her life better. Right. Like, he, you know, he is a pragmatist. Yeah. He'll do what, you know, needs to be done, even if it's not what's the best. And I think he, he sold that scene of it crushing him as he was doing that. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I get what you're coming from. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I guess that's it. Yeah. Uh, Actually, also, I just noticed, is this the neighborhood with the... Gelman's, I think it was. I'm not sure that was the name or something. Uh, the yeah. the two people from season one. Oh boy, uh, this looks a lot like that cul-de-sac specifically. I could see it. I mean, might not be, but mm. just we were we were held in that shot, and I was thinking, <laughs> huh, maybe. Either way, um, that's it. We'll see you guys for the next one. Until then, get the fuck out of here. <laughs>